The sun gets into the holiday spirit and gives us a show by popping off a few big flares, and an old coronal hole begins its return Earthside with a promise of more aurora. Those stories and more in the news this week. The sun brings a holiday cheer early this year with region 2615. It kind of was starting on the backside, but as it's rotated into Earthview, it's really started growing like crazy. We've been watching it pop off like half a dozen flares in the last day or so, with two of them being M-class flares. That means you amateur radio operators are beginning to feel the sting a little bit. Your noise levels and your fa signal fades are probably having an issue every now and again. And it's continuing to grow. It's going to enter the Earth strike zone here within the next few days. But all these flares have been in Impulsive, so no solar storms have been launched earth, that are Earth-directed or otherwise, but we are continuing to watch it. Meanwhile, we've got a coronal hole that you can't really see quite yet, but it's just beginning to round the edge of the east limb, and it should be into Earth strike zone in about 10 days. Switching to our M-flare threat meter, you can see we've been pretty quiet for quite some time. We've just been kind of drowsing along here. And then suddenly ramping up right there, bam, that was the emergence of region 2615 in Earthview. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six flares at least. Two of them are M-class flares, and it just keeps coming. Bam, bam, bam. This thing is firing rapid fire because it's growing so quickly. So we're keeping an eye on it, but these are pro causing problems for you ham radio operators. Expect your signal fades. Expect to be knocked out momentarily with these radio blackouts, but probably not for too long a period of time. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook for the coming week, as you can see, we are now in the yellow. Thanks to Region 2615, NOAA is giving us about a 20% chance of an M-class flare over at least the next few days. After that, we'll kind of see whether or not it's continuing to grow or it's going to die down. Oftentimes, these things fire off a lot, and then they die down. So we might see some fading here in the next few days of this particular region. So you amateur radio operators, you're just going to have to kind of get through the next few days, expect to have signal fades, expect to have radio blackouts. They won't last all that long before they die back down a little bit, but you're going to get them frequently. So just expect it's going to be a little annoying for you. The one nice thing is that you notice that the solar flux levels have now risen, so we're back into the green just barely. So when there aren't solar flares, you should actually enjoy some pretty good propagation. So the space weather this week has really picked up. The sun has gotten into a festive mood. It's popping off M-class flares, kind of like a paparazzi at a red carpet event. Unfortunately, this means you amateur radio operators kind of have to deal with the annoyance of these impulsive flares that will give you some radio blackouts and definitely signal fades, especially if you're on the day side of the, of the Earth and uh, near the gray line. So expect those annoyances easily through the next three days, maybe even through the week. Uh, we'll see if this region settles down or if it continues to grow. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.